Hello everyone, today's video for biochemistry in just 3 minutes is glucosuria and glycosuria. So glucosuria is a condition when there is an excretion of glucose in the urine. While glycosuria is a condition when there is an excretion of any reducing sugar except glucose in the urine. Fine, so that is the definition of glucosuria and glycosuria. And normally there is no excretion of glucose in the urine because uh, glucose is completely reabsorbed by the kidney tubules but when the blood glucose level exceeds 180 milligram per deciliter at that time kidney tubules cannot absorb this glucose completely and it starts appearing in the urine so this level that is 180 milligram per deciliter is called as a renal threshold for the glucose uh, now how to detect this glucosuria and glycosuria so there is a very simple test by which you can detect glucosuria and glycosuria in the urine is the Benedict test now what are the conditions so glucosuria is generally seen in diabetes mellitus while types of glycosuria like galactosuria is seen in galactosemia lactosuria is seen in pregnancy as well as in the lactation then fructosuria is generally seen in hereditary fructose intolerance as well as in essential fructosuria. Now what are the types of glycosuria? So first hyperglycemic glycosuria. So hyperglycemic glycosuria is generally seen when blood glucose level exceeds 180 milligram per deciliter which is generally seen in diabetes mellitus as well as in hypersecretion of thyroid hormones and cortisol. Second type is the renal glycosuria. So renal glycosuria is generally seen when renal threshold for the glucose is reduced fine so that is the second type third type is a elementary glycosuria so elementary glycosuria is generally seen when there is a consumption of when there is a consumption of excess carbohydrate it is generally seen immediately after consumption of excess carbohydrate because there is an increased absorption from the intestine and it is generally seen in hyperthyroidism so that is a elementary glycosuria Fourth and last type is the transient glycosuria. So transient glycosuria is generally seen in people immediately after stress. And it is because of hypersecretion of catecholamines. And once the stress level is reduced, trans transient glycosuria will be disappeared. So that is all about glucosuria and glycosuria. It is very important concept which is frequently asked in a NEET exams as well as in your MBBS viva. Thank you.